So, today we will learn how to do basic optimization in MATLAB. So, uh, how we write codes? We can write codes in the command window and we can generate M files. Do you think that we can do it easily using command window? No. Okay, so in this we need uh, functions or scripts and script is not very good. So, uh, now we can learn how to write functions. So, what is the difference between a script and function? Okay, good. We can also call the scripts, but function has, for example, if you remember from C classes, what? Okay, so inputs and outputs. It's different from the scripts, functions, you can give an input and it gives you an output. So you make new, you make a function, and okay, this is the window, and this is how you create a function. Write function. In this parenthesis brackets, you write the output arguments with commas, function name, and input arguments. Okay, uh, let's make a function name and compute power. Compute maximum, maximum power or no? So compute resistance. Okay, compute R L. That's enough. Input is R Tevenin. Okay, so basically, alpha times R Tevenin is the. Any questions? No. Okay, good. And output is R L. Let's make it say. Okay. So. Compu I think yes. How oh, we can do that? Uh, think it should be here. Preference. preference, yes. Where's the preferences here? Is everybody did this? Fonts. Hmm? Fonts. Fonts. Yes. Fonts gave plain. Good. <laughs> Good. I like this. Yes, it's big. Okay. It's very big. Compute. Load resistance, resistance that okay, that maximizes this minimizes the power. the power transfer. Okay, so basically, the first is since we know the result, RL is equal to R in times one, right? Okay, so this is the first answer, and let's Call it. Okay, so you need to save this. Computer L, we save this. Okay, let's go to the command window. Let's, okay, so ls is list the, all of the functions or like files inside of your folder. We have compute rl, compute rl, rl, but of course we need to now give an input. Let's say 10 ohm. Okay. It, Basically sold me. Okay, 10. If I give it 100, it will give me 100. So this is how you can write a function. Okay, now we will try to solve it numerically. Okay, good. So this is the function. So, first we need to write a function which basically given alpha computes this f in order to optimize it. Okay. So you can write a different function which is fine or you can have, write a sub function inside your uh, main folder this is like your main m file and the below functions are the subroutines function let's uh, output is the cost cost equal to uh, well, output is f find compute cost cost and input is alpha and okay so there are some kind of problems which is fine okay so the problem is all most all of the optimization functions are basically minimization functions okay so what should I do here is a maximization function 
What should I do? You don't find a maximum of something, and my tool minimizes. Hmm? First step. No. Inverse Simple. Inverse. This is a numeric inverse. Uh, multiple yeah. you say, okay, this is one thing, but generally can raise some problems. An easier thing is <laughs> minus of the maximum is the minimum, right? It's a, okay. So basically, if you like put a minus, then it's a minimization. Okay, M minus. So basically, f is equal to minus alpha divided by. 1 plus alpha sugar. Okay. Yes. Okay, so basically if I minimize this for alpha, I will find my optimal alpha. Okay, good. So how I can do that? And let's try something. first, zero. Let's print f for different kind of alphas. Zero, zero point five, one, two, four, something like that. Let's check this. Compute RL. As you can see, I have zero, minus zero point two, minus zero point twenty five, minus zero point twenty two, minus zero. Okay, so basically, this minimum f belongs to one. Okay, so one way of doing optimization is trial and error by your hand. So you can use your human brain and you can just guess, but which is not very good. So let's use optimization. Okay, so I will teach two basic commands. First one is called f f min search. Okay, and the official algorithm of this is called Nether Meet. Okay. So Nether and Meet develop this algorithm, which is simple, but theoretically not very powerful. But MATLAB suggests you to use this first, and if it's not very really good, you can go to other methods. So it's useful, but I like the second one more. So let's look at the help, but help is also JK and take. So multi-dimensional, unconstrained, nonlinear minimization. Yes. So important keywords are multi-dimensional and unconstrained. So multi-dimensional is it doesn't have to be single dimension like this. So it has can like have 10 inputs and you can try to minimize this, but it's unconstrained. So what do you think is unconstrained? Okay, good. So it assumes but assumes that there is no boundary. In our problem, we have a boundary, but we will assume that it will not be a problem. But it may be a problem sometimes. So if you have a boundary and it's really, really important, there are different kind of techniques. But most of the time, if your solution is not very close to the boundary, it's not a very big deal. But if it's in the boundary, then there are different kind of methods. Okay. So let's try to use this f min search, and this is the main syntax that we will use. X is equal to f min search. Your function, comma x zero. What is x zero? And I think the guys who take take numerical methods can answer this. In numerical techniques, we need to supply in general something called initial condition. You need to give some initial guess. It can be random or it can be something like this. So let's copy this here. Okay, so alpha is equal to, let's make it 5. My initial guess is alpha is equal to 5. Okay, so it's really tricky here. How I can write function? This is one thing that's not very really trivial. So one assumption is this, compute cost. If I do that, it will be wrong. Okay, so it's some stuff are complicated for both C and MATLAB. So if I write this, it will be wrong. 
I can write, for example, compute cost 5, but it will just do the compute cost 5. So there's something called function handle in MATLAB. So it's like a pointer in C. So what we do instead, this weird thing, add. We put add, add signal. So basically, the Englishized version is this. Perform F means search. Initial condition is 5, and your pointed function is compute cost. For each iteration, you put the new input inside compute cost. So basically, you write your function here, or in a different name, file. Then, you need to put an add at the beginning of the compute cost. So this is not trivial, but you can understand using reading help files, but it can be even sometimes hard for the beginners. But basically, this is how you compute this. Okay, so this is the ink. So RL is equal to alpha times RTH. And now we know that this is, we don't need. Okay, good. Should we run? Okay, let's run. Compute, you will call the same function, 100. So basically, it computes the optimization, <coughs> finds the alpha, which is equal to 1, and it gives the result. Okay, so this is one thing. So uh, the ones who take numerical methods, can you give me some parameters that you use for some numerical techniques? For example, when you terminate, what kind of things that you use? What? Okay, so basically you define some kind of errors, and depending on the error, you put a threshold. It's good. Then you stop at some point. So in MATLAB, there are lots of op the options that you can use for termination and other kind of techniques. In order to do that, what we do is help f min search in search. Okay, this is the disadvantage. Let's say, okay, options. So we have options. And options are supplied by the optim set function. So what is optim set? Help optim set. Okay, so optim set is a function which basically given some kind of parameters and values defines your options for the optimization. Okay, so I will I know some stuff, so let's do it. Options, for example, display. Okay, so good thing is now we will it will display the result of the optimization to us. In the previous case, it just gave us the number. Let's see what it's doing and in how many iterations it optimizes. Compute. Okay. No, it's wrong. Okay, it's not correct. Options is equal to optim set display trash. Okay. So basically, in MATLAB, you need to really understand the warnings, errors, and correct yourself by reading the help files. So it's not easy for some programming language, but it's easy for MATLAB. And here, I need to give options. Okay. Now, let's compute, for example, 5. Okay, now to optimize. As you can see, not very see. Iteration number 0, 1, until 19, it optimizes, and the minimum value of the optimal function is equal to 0 0.25. And finally, our answer is 5. So, 5 ops. So, what we can do is change the, for example, compute 1.5. So, it is still 19. Yes. It prints it. Yes, exactly. Here, no, no. Basically, it is 0 0.25, but you have the voting numbers. Yes, exactly. So, so basically, it's not just doing it. It's still optimizing it. So the threshold is 10 to the power minus 6 in terms of relative tolerance. So it's not absolute. So it takes the difference between two iterations. If the difference between two is below the minus 10 to the power 6, minus 6, then it uh, terminates. So there are different kind of error tolerances than the ones who take numerical methods knowledge better. Okay, so let's make it the still 90, which is weird. Okay, 
Hmm. Then this is not initial condition. Okay. So open compute compute load compute RL. Okay. So let's change five to one point one. So pick a close number. Compute hundred. Okay, now thirty. Instead of nineteen, with thirteen iterations, it finds the optimal value. So by changing the initial condition, of course, you can change the speed of convergence. Okay. Good. So and also there are other kind of things. No, it's not. Yes, it's very close. Good. So it's close, but it's different. It's because of numerical optimization. Because of the tolerance, it changed the value. It's a problem. Let's change it. So, and tall fun, I guess. This is the tolerance. 1 e to the power minus 9. Let's change the tolerance. And let's change, we'll check if this one. So, tall fun is the option which basically defines the relative tolerance of the uh, function. Let's write this. Compute. It will still say. Hmm? No, it's not. Yeah, basically, it's still kind of not perfect. So let's change it to minus 14. There are other kind of tolerances. Compute 120. Okay, so it changed the number of iterations, and the result is now closer. Okay, by changing the tolerance, you can change the speed or you can define where to terminate. So for single values, it's not a big deal. So I change it, I can make it arbitrarily small, it will converge. But when you go to multiple dimensions, reducing your tolerance is good. Or basically kind of playing with that. Because you can wait like even sometimes days and weeks, which I did in the past, for some problems or a couple of hours. Okay, so what should I do? Or do you have any kind of uh, question regarding this? And if not, I will talk about the other technique. Currently, I'm recording it, and I will upload it. Okay, good. So this is Nelder Meet, and there is a much more popular methods, which is also very basic, and it's called gradient descent. Anyone heard this gradient descent? Okay. So anyone heard the newton raphson algorithm for numerical methods? Okay, so newton raphson is root finding algorithm. Okay, there is an optimization version of this, which is very similar. Basically, you take derivative, you come, uh, basically project it to the your origin, and you try to find a new iteration, and you optimize it. It's very similar. And basically, it's using a Newton-like method, and it's used for, basically for deep learning and machine learning algorithms for Google. They basically use gradient descent, different versions. So it's, it's so simple, but it's so powerful. This is also powerful, but also it's really good. So the for MATLAB, this is called f min unc. f min unconstrained is the gradient descent of MATLAB. Okay, so a local minimum of a function of several variables. Okay. These both functions try to find your local minimum. They don't care if your minimum is global or not. Basically, they're trying to find the minimum point locally. So they basically, if it is like this, but if there's another minimum, it doesn't care. Okay, and as you can see, the syntax is very similar. You have a function, you have x naught, and you have options. So let's write this. So it's very similar. Alpha is equal to f min unc. Let's change the iteration to 5. Let's change to 5. And let's close options because options are different. And we will get a warning, which is not a big deal. Okay, clear it. Compute. Okay, so it found the local minimum. So the warning is not very important, I think it's a, like a bug. So basically, it says that I didn't supply the gradient. So in gradient descent, there are two different sub-techniques, sub-algorithms. Trust region method 
uses a gradient supplied by the user. So basically, I can give the gradient of this to MATLAB, and MATLAB can compute this. But if you don't use that, it will give a warning, and it will use quasi Newton method to compute the function. It basically uses a numerical uh, method to find the gradient. I think the second method is the kind of root finding version. Do you remember, know the second method? Okay. So you don't need to deal with the kind of gradients and I generally don't supply a gradient because computation of the gradient is also costly in some cases. Instead what I just changed the option. So options. We have options and I guess the name of the options is different. Let's look at that in my previous function. Compute load load. What was that? Optimum options. Okay, let's copy this. The options are like this. Okay. Instead of uh, optim set, we use optim options. Since it's a different algorithm, different type, it uses different kind of options. Okay. So here, options, I supplied the algorithm for off min unc displayed iterations and use the algorithm quasi Newton. This is required to not get the warning, and you can change the tolerance here. And let's see if it converge or not, or we made a mistake or not. Compute. Okay, with five iteration, it computed the result. 